Fox 45's McKenzie Frost continues our live team coverage on this issue. McKenzie, it seems schools across Maryland are taking a new step to improve the communication, but we understand some are calling for even more change to happen. Yeah, okay, that's right. In Howard County, we know the superintendent is frustrated with what he calls gaps in the laws, resulting in a 17-year-old homicide suspect enrolling in his district without his knowledge that the teen had an attempted murder charge on his record. Now, the State Board of Education is taking action to bolster communication, but as one gap in the law seems to close, some lawmakers are preparing to introduce legislation next year, they say, that could close other loopholes. The Maryland State Board of Education. We added an agenda item early this morning. Taking emergency action Tuesday. Reportable offenses, confidentiality of information. With the goal of improving communication between school districts about students with criminal histories. So this is a temporary process. We know that the emergency proclamation um, is only 180 days. And then that also puts it in time for us to also work back behind that to get the reg ready to, to go but for approval. As as the action coming less than 24 hours after Democratic state senators from Howard County sent this letter to Superintendent Kerry Wright Monday calling for immediate action to ensure better communication. Dr. Kerry Wright says this is the first step, but there likely will need to be more. I think we're going to have to expand what's currently written in policy because right now it doesn't even cover um, students that are placed um, from out of state into Maryland or other non-public. So my frustration is recognizing there are, are systemic gaps that resulted in, in this case, thankfully only a student possessing a loaded gun in a school and not using a loaded gun in school. Howard County Public School System Superintendent Bill Barnes made it clear last week his frustrations center around the lack of information being shared across district lines, especially in this case. The 17-year-old suspect connected to Kendrick McClellan's death in Columbia had an attempted murder charge from 2023 on his record from when he was a student in Anne Arundel County. Yet that information was not shared with Howard County when the teen enrolled. I do know that our inability to receive information regarding a student's uh, criminal activity inhibits appropriate placement. I mean, it's just unconscionable. Delegate Bob Long, a Republican from Baltimore County, says he's prepping to introduce legislation next year to require more communication. My legislation produced um, language that would require the Center for School Safety to handle this because it needs to be statewide. Delegate Long's plan would require the law enforcement agency making the arrest of a juvenile accused of committing a reportable offense like murder, attempted murder, arson, carjacking, or robbery to notify the Maryland Center for School Safety, the State Board of Education, and the corresponding state's attorney's office. I would rather have two or three fail-safe backup plans I'd rather have someone notified four or five different times and not notified at all. Delegate Long has a history of introducing this plan. Year after year after year since 2020, the plan stalling in committee. What's your message to Democrats as we head into session in January, given the fact that your bill introduced last year didn't make it? It's time that we work together. It's not about whether we're Democrat or Republican. It's about doing what's right. I, if a Democrat wants to produce this bill, as long as it gets done, I don't care. I don't need to uh, pat on the back. Without Democratic support, any bill would not pass, but momentum could be building for legislative solutions as the problems continue to frustrate school leaders. This is a time for swift and collective action that prioritizes the safety of children and staff. And elected leaders alike, all with the goal of keeping students safe in the classroom. Now, I do have an interview scheduled with DJS Secretary Vincent Schiraldi that's set to begin in about 20 minutes. And I'm planning to ask him about this communication issue, ankle monitors, and other concerns we continue to hear about DJS. I'll let you know what he says coming up at 5. Live in the studio, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.